So I'm gonna do some tidying up and um, I'm gonna do two things. For starters, let's just get this one million out the front here. Uh, it's always hanging out there, okay, like so. And then the two things I'm gonna change are to do with this series of terms, okay? The first one is um, minus signs, gross. I hate minus signs, they're really awful, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factorize out a minus sign out of the whole thing, okay? So all of these minuses, they're gonna become pluses because I'm gonna factorize out all those minus signs. Is that okay? I mean, you could have left them there, but it's just the less minus signs there are, the better for me. I'd rather have one covering all of these guys than all of them together, okay? Good question. This here is not a 10, it's a N. In some ways, I'm kind of cheating because I'm looking to the next question. There's another question that I have to work out, right? And I think that question is going to use this a lot more easily, if that makes sense. You'll see when we do it together, okay? All right, so I've taken the minus sign out. There's one other thing I'm going to do. See how this, um, this series, right? It goes like 3, 2, 1, or like 10, 9, 8, or whatever, right? We tend to think more intuitively in the other direction, right? Like 1, 2, 3, uh, and then you end wherever you want. I'm going to do that over here. So I've taken out a minus sign, and I'm also reversing the order of the series. Is that okay? So what am I going to end up, end up with? If I'm reversing this, the first term will be what the last term was. What was the last term before? Is, is, is 75,000 times 1.04. Is that okay? Now some of you are probably wondering, why didn't I factor out the 75,000 also? You will see why in a second, okay? What's the next term? Plus, because I factorized out all the minus signs. I'm counting from here now, right? So instead of counting down, I'm now counting up. So the next one should be 75,000 times 1.04, and then I go up one, right? So it'll be squared. Is that okay? Um, I'll do one for more for good measure because I'm so good at counting one, two, three that I'll just write down a three. What will the very last term be? N. It'll be N, because that was my first term before, okay? Dot, dot, dot. There should be a plus sign there. Sorry, that was a bit cheeky. There's not enough space on my paper. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I'm ready. I can say, see this guy here? Not that first term. It's separate, you see how separate it is? I'm trying to highlight its, its own thing, right? But all these guys, they're a GP, yeah? So I'm gonna say over here on the right hand side and pull out another color if, um, if it helps you, right? I'm gonna say this is a geometric progression with. I need to identify three things. Three things will define every geometric progression and they're there in the formula for a GP. Where do we start? Literally, where do we start? It's the first term, right? What's the first term? It's that one there, right? Because remember, even though a million is the first thing I wrote down, it's not part of the GP. Do you see that, right? It's kind of just sitting out there on its own like a weird antisocial person. So A actually starts up in here, is that okay? So I'm gonna write that down. What's the ratio? From one term to the next, I'm multiplying by 1.04. Now, normally at this point, I would say um, n equals to tell you how many terms there are, but I don't really want to write n equals n, because that seems a bit strange and superfluous. So instead, I'm just going to say n terms, because this is a GP with this a, this r, and it's got n terms. Is that all right? You're like, oh, what a beast of a line. Look at this. It takes like four lines to write it. Okay, I know it took some work to establish that pattern, but now I can actually go and reach for the formula. I'm ready to use the formula now. A of n will equal 1 million times this guy. It's not part of the GP, so it just hangs out there, okay? Minus. Can we do the formula for a GP? Can you help me assemble everything together? What's the first thing I write down? It's, it's the A, right? That's what's on the top of the, that's on the numerator of this formula. So it's 75,000 times 1.04, like so. So there's my A, and then there's stuff in the brackets of this numerator, right? What's in the brackets? Yeah, it's, mm, hold on, hold on, careful. You've got the formula there, right? It's R to the N minus one, right? So in this case, it's 1.04 to the N minus one. 
Is that okay? And then I divide by r minus 1. There's r to the n minus 1, and then there's r minus 1 on the bottom. Okay? Now, those of you who were asking before, oh, why didn't I factorize out the 75,000 here? I mean, I could have. But the reason I didn't is because it just comes back here. Like, it's factorized out anyway. Okay? All right, now, I'm going to pause for a minute. You guys now can take that, go to your calculator. What's the particular A we're looking for? Which one? A10. So, wherever you see N, go ahead to your calculator and put in a 10. Be careful with your input, because I know it's... um. It's a bit of a tricky mess to put in there, but go ahead and do that. And then we'll get a number out of it. Yeah? What's that um, 1 million, 1.04 1. to the power of n at the beginning? What is it? Why is it? Have a think about this whole situation, right? You're getting paid money. Where did that money come from? It came from how much you saved, right? So it's there, and it keeps on getting interest because you don't take all of it out immediately. The total of the 10 years out. Correct. I will once I've done all my subtractions as well. So this is all my withdrawals, and this is my original amount that I saved. This is the amount withdrawn here. Okay. Question or answer? Go ahead. Oh yeah. Okay. We're not there yet. Have you got A already? Is that what you're saying? Can you give us A ten? <laughs> Can anyone give us a 10? Go ahead, Parent. Uh, 543,767.93. Okay, do we have some agreement? Thank you, Parent. Who's got that number? Happy? No, Eddie? No, yes? Okay, great. Okay, I was like, no, I disagree, just to be contrary. All right, now, uh, quick sense check. Sense check. Does that make sense? 10 years, pulling 75,000 every time. If there was no interest, if there was no interest, and you pulled $75,000 out of here every year for 10 years, how much would you have withdrawn? Uh, 10 lots of 75,000, right? 750,000? So you would have had a quarter of a million dollars at the end, 250,000. This is a lot more than that. Why is it so much more? It's the, it's the interest, right? And you started with this huge, what's sometimes called a nest egg, right? It's massive, 4% of this, 4% of this, it's $40,000, right? Can I say that again? 4% of your million is, did I calculate it right? I did, right? $40,000. So even though you're pulling out 75, 40,000 gets re-accrued, if that makes sense, roughly anyway, okay? Eddie's checking my numbers. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs>